Hey, Radians here. While there are plenty of libraries for data visualization, it often might be easier to implement a custom component that fits your exact needs and UI requirements. Let me show you how I've implemented a simple bar chart so you can find some useful insights for your task. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. The component receives a list of items or bars, the exact height of the bar chart, and two optional parameters for expected height for values we show under and above the bar. We are less likely to specify them, except if you want to make labels or values stand out by making them larger or smaller. Each item consists of a label, numeric value, color in a HSLA format, and an optional function to render value on top of the bar. To begin, we create a Flexbox container with a predetermined height to accommodate the bar chart element. Within this container, we include two spacers and the content for the bar chart. The spacer are given fixed heights to prevent any potential overflow issues. This is crucial because we will be positioning the labels and values absolutely in relation to the bars. To make every bar the same width, we will place them inside a CSS grid component. You can learn more about same width children row in this video. Each column represents a flexible component that contains a relative proper position both below and above the bar. The key aspect is that the relative proper is a relative element that centrally aligns absolute contact within it, without occupying any space within its parent. Values and labels will have the same font size that should match the expected value of label height. Therefore, spacer should reserve enough space to prevent labels from overflowing the total height of the component. The bar itself is a regular div element with a transition property, so that when we change items, they would have a nice animation for changing height and color. To become an effective programmer, check out my productivity app at increaser.org.